Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm answering the question, which water is the healthiest to drink? So I do get this question a lot. I'm gonna break down some of the pros and cons of the most commonly consumed types of waters and give you a little bit of an insight as to the types that I prefer. So let's start with, you know, regular tap water. So this is really dependent on where you live in the world and if it is, you know, potable water Water that you can actually drink. So some of the advantages of tap water is that it's relatively inexpensive and it's readily accessible, again, depending on where you live. Now, some of the cons of the tap water is that it can contain a lot of toxic ingredients. So things like chlorine, especially if it's treated water, as well as lead, so heavy metals, mercury, also bacteria and parasites can be commonly found in tap water, benzenes, as well as xenoestrogens. So these are the bad estrogens that mimic our own estrogens in our body that are definitely in our environment and get into the tap water as well. And they're usually not filtered out in common processing of you know municipal water. Other heavy metals like cesium fluoride. So if you live in an area as I do where the water is fluoridated, certainly this is a very controversial topic. I did a whole show all about fluoride toxicity so making sure that you educate yourself about fluoride and you know really limiting your exposure to fluoride and tap water is one of the most common exposures if you live in an area of course that fluoridates the water now medication residues unfortunately that we as humans would urinate out come and are found in the tap water as well so this is something else that we need to be aware of now on you know in in the news we hear a lot about microplastics so this is another you know common contaminant of tap water and another disadvantage of tap water is that it can be positively charged so this is something that can be evaluated in water and being a little bit more on the negative side is always better for our health in terms of our drinking water. Okay, now let's talk about spring water. So depending on where that spring is and mineral water as well, spring water is one of the best types of water to drink. One of the advantages is that for a lot of people it is readily accessible and it does have naturally occurring minerals present in the spring water but some of the disadvantages is that usually it needs to be bottled and especially if it's bottled in plastic that is not necessarily a great thing and we know you know most of the reasons for that in terms of the bpas and some of the microplastics that will leach into the water and it's difficult to find it fresh so it has been studied that even just two weeks after bottling that that water becomes stale and it can start to harbor some bacteria which is of course not good for our health so getting it fresh getting it you know in a glass container is definitely more advisable in terms of bottled water and there are some bottled waters that are spring waters that are better than others. So making sure that it's fluoride free is definitely one of the things that you wanna look for. And again, depending on the source where that spring is, which is something that I talk about in other videos. Also looking at deuterium levels is something that I talk about in other videos as well. So you can check those out. Now, another type of commonly used type of water to drink is the carbon filtered water. So if you either have the pitcher that you fill up your tap water and put that into your fridge, or maybe it's the actual fridge refrigerator itself has a water system that filters the water for you. Most times it will be this carbon type of filter. And some of the advantages is that it removes the volatile organic compounds, so the VOCs and some of the pesticide residues. But one of the disadvantages is that that these filters commonly collect bacteria so and they don't clear the fluoride and which is something that definitely you have to be aware of if you are in a fluoridated area in terms of your drinking water it also doesn't clear medications and most parasites so this is something that again the quality of that carbon filter is going to make a difference if this is something that you use make sure that you are checking you know with the company and ask these very pointed questions or they should have a report as to what it is filtering 
they usually don't tell you what it's not filtering and these are the things that you have to look for. So fluoride is a big one, medications and those parasites. Now in some countries these, the ones that you put into the refrigerator, they were banned years back because of this bacterial load. So you could be using it successfully for a couple weeks, then on one more fill you, it would pass all of those bacteria into the drinking water um, when it got to its capacity for filtering out that bacteria. So this, you know, makes it a little bit risky. It's something that I have not used for years and I usually educate people about those filters not to use them because of that potential of flushing those bacteria into your water. Now another type that I love is reverse osmosis. So some of the advantages of a re reverse osmosis system is that it helps to remove heavy metals. It is cost effective. Now you do have to change out the filters themselves and depending on you know how much water you drink or how many people in your household it's usually an under the sink um, system that goes into your home which is what I have in my home one of the disadvantages is that it will lack the minerals so things like magnesium calcium so we actually have a remineralizer on our RO system which is you know great because we get you know not only that high filtering capacity for all of those things plus the fluoride is removed with reverse osmosis so that's a great advantage however that lack of minerals we you know in our home make up for that by adding a remineralizer now one of the things that is similar to the next one that I'll talk about the distilled water is that it's uncharged so when we talk about the charge of water it's typically uncharged if you just leave it as such but there are ways to structure and charge your water which is something that I share in another video make sure you check that out so the distilled water again it will remove the heavy metals so things like lead and radon some of the salts and some of those you know other heavy metals and the sediments of those heavy metals but one of the disadvantages of distilled water is and people call it dead water because it's uncharged and it's lacking in minerals so it can actually rob your body of your own essential minerals uh, because it's lacking in those minerals so that's something to definitely consider it's not something that I usually recommend in terms of ingesting distilled water and there is finally deuterium depleted water and this it, you know in more recent research has really found to have a lot of benefits for your health and longevity which is great there are a lot of studies that are looking at cancer and the relationship with cancer and, and drinking high deuterium water and what the deuterium depleted water can do for your health in terms of some of these conditions which is fantastic and for longevity as well which I'm very excited about one of the big disadvantages if you are to purchase you know a highly depleted deuterium depleted water is that it is very expensive so I share in another video a way that you can remove some of the deuterium from your water it's pretty simple it's something that I do and I then I structure my water as well so make sure you check out in my tips how to do that in terms of drinking a healthier water so today we talked all about water and which water is the healthiest to drink I hope that you learned something new if you do have questions or comments please do put them in the comment section below I'd love to hear from you and be sure to share this video as well and also give me a big thumbs up I truly appreciate all your great feedback that you share with me and if you're new to my channel welcome in I hope that you'll subscribe click that bell to turn on your notifications so you're always notified of my newest and latest uploads which happens every single day of the week and remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally thanks for watching today